Alright, so my biggest complaint with Hasbro, Marvel Legends, is character selection. Like, I do complain that they reuse the same parts, and I do complain that they don't sculpt on detail and they paint. But my number one complaint, because you gotta figure, I have every Marvel Legends, at least almost, or real close. So basically, if I have all of the Marvel Legends, and they keep remaking Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, all the core characters, then we never get in deep on character selection. So my biggest complaint is character selection. And I think that they finally listened to me, or listened to us as a nerd community. And they came out with this six-figure, all-female box set. So in this, you get five brand new, never before characters out in your collection. That, that makes this thing amazing. It's super fun to get, super fun to collect. And it shows that the, that the fan base behind Marvel Legends is actually big enough to where they can do something like this. Because you take something and you put this in the store. Um, like the, the girls aren't, like kids, the girls aren't buying this because it's action figures. The boys aren't buying it because it's girls. I mean, the majority of the people aren't going to buy it because it's like $100. Except for the hardcore Marvel Collector fan. And this is something that is just amazing. To get five first time ever characters and female figures in a box set, thank you Hasbro. You guys killed it on this one. Let's check it out. Okay, over here we'll start with this She-Hulk, which is my least favorite in the set. And the reason why she's the least favorite in the set is because I got a ton of really nice She-Hulks. And I was thinking, well, maybe this is at least a new outfit. No, I already got this outfit too. So here she is standing just a little under 7 inches. And then we got Singularity over here, which is probably my favorite one in the set. Just a little under 6. Monica, right at 6. Bloodstorm pretty much at six or ponytail sitting up a little high sit they're about six and a half inches tall which is good because she's kind of like an Amazon so that's good that she's big and then Loki but if you don't say lady Loki pretty much everybody's gonna think of the other Loki so let's check them out all right I'm so pumped that they did an all-girl box set with five new characters and I'm gonna try to keep this video upbeat but I am gonna point out a few obvious things First off, my favorite one is still the Marvel Select She-Hulk for obvious reasons. Like, look at this toy. Just it's, it's just an amazing toy, and her accessory is this car that she can pick up over her head. And then right behind it, you have Marvel Legends version, same costume. It's basically their version of this toy. And look at those hip joints, look at those hip joints, the knees. There, there's literally no comparison. The boots are super clean. Um, no comparison in toy. This one comes with a car. This one, her accessory, is absolutely nothing. And they're basically the same price toy. So that definitely kind of sucks for Marvel Legends. But they did give us this box set. So let's, let's, let's keep it going. Then you have this one, which is, look at the height on these. Like So basically, these two are both a little under 7 inches. The one, the Fantastic Four one, is way above 7 inches. I don't know what happened on the scale there. Like, why is it so all over the place? And then you have this one, which is right at 6 inches. Um, I, I, man, they're, they're all over. I really do like that figure, too. And I put these two together just for you to see how far their toys have came. Like, like, look how junky this toy is compared to the one right next to it. Like look at the lipstick on that thing, those big holes in her shoulders. Like this one on the right, I mean, you could actually rub one out to that. Like that's actually a really good like, looking female figure. And then this thing, man, I'm glad they redid this. Like I was thinking they already have that costume. I can pretty much throw that thing away after this video, which I won't because I can't let go. Let's check out a couple of these things. All right, we'll check out this select one, and we'll compare it with the Marvel Legends ones, just for you can kind of see them side by side. Which the Marvel Legend one is really good, 
it just doesn't stack up to the select one. It's look at look at the face and the hair. The body's both pretty good. Um, if you look at the thighs, yeah, this one has a lot less articulation. But what would you rather have? These gappy hip joints or these nice clean hips? Like if you need to sacrifice a little articulation on a female figure to make it look like a female, then by all means, please do so. You look at the leg detail, the painting. This is just green. This has like tons of work. The boots compared to like these weird like I don't know what you would call that shoe. You turn the figure around and you tell me what which ass looks better. This weird ball gappy thing here or this nice seamless Look at that. Like that girl has definitely been doing her squats. Like I don't know man, female figures, a little less articulation with me goes a long way. Then you take the hair, like this hair goes all the way down to her butt. This is like shoulder length hair. Not much comparison for me. Um, little side boob action. Definitely digging this toy. This one's not bad. You gotta have both. I mean, at least I do because I got problems. Then you take this one. I thought she was really cool. I just don't know why she's so small. Like the head on it, they, they, they tried to go with an angry face. Now I know why they go with a plain face the majority of the time. Because you take this, they tried to achieve an angry face, didn't really work out. Then you take a plain face and it actually looks really nice. So this toy, I love that she's barefoot. She comes in this cool little dress. If you want to perv out, you can pop her head off, take the dress off. She actually has like a real sculpted like little bikini on which I think they did a really good job on. So that definitely looks pretty cool. The top, I guess the head's gonna pop off by itself. Really well done. It's like, you know, got like this knit on there. It has a little tie here. So, I mean, the bikini looks great on her. Put it back down. So this is a really good toy. I just don't know why that she's so small. Like, I mean, she's She-Hulk. So I thought that was kind of weird. Probably just because they used one from a toy that we already have. And then we have the new one, and it, I mean, it's an amazing toy. It's a perfect She-Hulk. Like always, my, my only complaint would be that the, the boots aren't sculpted on. They're just painted. I mean, I, I guess we just have to learn to accept that because that's probably never going to change. The thigh cut, I don't really care for the thigh cut because it just kind of breaks the leg up. I mean, it, it swivels right here at the hip. The hips look pretty clean. It could look a little bit better. The belt, nothing there, just all painted on. And then the gloves are just painted on. Like if you want to add articulation, you could, you could have added, you know, something at the waist right here where the line is. It'd be a nice place to hide it. You could have did something here. You could have did something at the boots. And then it's like it's almost like sculpted on and not painted on. But that didn't quite happen. The little collar piece here, that's just painted on. But this toy looks great. Um, I mean, this is the one, this is the only other one that I have that's wearing this costume. So they're really not comparable. So I have tons of She-Hulk, but this is a really good one. And then, man, so it did pretty good back there too. I mean, it's just a good looking toy. So here's all the Lokis. And I didn't pull out the movie ones because I kind of think that that's like a separate deal. So this is what toys used to look like back in the day. I gotta be honest, I can't remember if that lightning effect came with him or if it came with Thor. I had it displayed with him, so I'm gonna take a guess and say it came with him. Here's like an old Loki that we have. I thought that that one was actually really good, still holds up, still an amazing toy. And then right next to it you have the Lady Loki, which is basically just Loki. So let me get this straight, let me know if I'm wrong. So Loki is now a girl. Like, it used to be a guy, now it's a girl, so I guess he died, came back as a girl. I, I just don't get it. Like, this whole transgender thing is, like, really taken off, because now Thor's a girl, and Loki's a girl. Um, just a little confused on that. Either way, it's a great toy, and I'm glad that I have it. Then you have these two, and the old, um, Toy Biz Marvel Legends trick that they used to do, and uh, to get us suckers all the time, like, they would have chase variants, that's what they would call them. So they'd come out, make a toy, and then on the next case they'd change some things in, in the toy. Like So this one, all they changed was the head. They, so they give you the long horns, which is the one that everybody wants. I can't remember which was the chase, if it was that one 
or the short horn. So basically nobody wanted the short horn version. So I can't remember which was the harder one to find. But either way, they used to get us like that all the time. And I'm a sucker. I would fall for it literally every time. Like, when they do shit like that now, like, I get mad. But back then when they did it, I just had to get that chase variant. Because it was like, well, you don't have to buy it, but you got to have it. So either way, let's check out this new Loki. Once again, they're coming in hot with this one. Like their head sculpts and their face paint, they're on a whole different level. Like if you take any toy out there, like SH Figure Arts, Mayfex, any anybody on a Mezco, nobody can fuck with that. Like look at the eyes, look at the lips. They they are just killing it on these head sculpts. Like like I cannot believe how hot she is. Like it, she looks amazing. And then they put all these like weird uh, hooks and rings and stuff in her hair. That's exactly what she has in the comic book. And you think that maybe they'd get lazy and use hair off of a different figure. Not this time. Like this time, they killed it. Granted, like all this, um, like none of the scales are sculpted on. Of course, you kind of expect that. The line right here where her shirt ends, that's also just paint. But on this one, it actually looks, it looks pretty decent. And then down here, like I don't really like how the how the scales just kind of stop right there at the seam um, maybe maybe I should like it because it gives it kind of a reason to have a seam but the little skirt piece that they added on is really nice the boots are good like granted like a lot of the, all these are just basically reused figures with a few extra parts and I'm totally cool with that because we got five new characters so I'm gonna just give them a pass on pretty much everything but one weird thing she has that weird Popeye forearm thing going on here like you see how it like sticks out like a little bit here I don't really know what happened there because this one is not as bad as the other side um, she comes with this really cool cape and you know I'm just digging this toy I'm just glad we got a this, this version of Loki so here she is articulation I'm not gonna go over it because I'm gonna do all these one video nothing new here if I see a new joint which you won't see a new joint because all these are reused parts of something that you already have I will I will go over it but that's not gonna happen okay here's this Monica next to Captain Universe not a lot to talk about there so let's just get to the figure all right up close on this head sculpt once again is Marvel Legends perfection like they're really doing a good job on these faces the hair they're pretty much the whole head on it is, is just really done well the bodies are reused no big deal articulation nothing new here but it's a really good toy it's a brand new character I mean dude I'm digging this five new characters like that's what I bitch about all the time and now we're getting them all over the place so this thing really well done okay I wasn't real sure who who to pull out for a comparison for this video so I just decided to go with nothing at all and just get straight to her. First off, the hair on this thing, amazing. Like, they really killed it, really did a good job on that. The face, the whole head, painted perfect. The eyes look really good. The lips look really good. Have you guys noticed anything yet? They all have the same exact facial expression. Like, this chick is, like, supposed to be, like, a badass. Like, it would be nice if, like, somebody had just some kind of a... A different look to their face like a, a smile a frown a mean face a happy something like they're all just like stone cold it's like I'm not real sure what's going on there um, my only really complaints about this toy is that that shirt like when they paint it on like it just looks painted on like it doesn't I mean I mean just a little maybe if you add like another layer of paint or something on there it's just it's just not really working. I mean, I'm glad I got the toy and everything, but the lines there just don't really work. And like there too, like the, the pants doesn't look as bad. Like look at that, up. I guess it's clearly just painted on. So whatever, um, she does come with two shotguns. Really nice there, really cool, big giant shotgun. She also comes with a pistol and a holster that works. So I feel as if they did go the extra mile on this, she pull it out, she's got a nice revolver. They gave it a little love for the paint, um, little sculpt work. Definitely digging that for sure. Um, then the flap goes right over. It doesn't buckle or anything, but it really doesn't need to. And here's like, 
one of the, I mean, it's not much of a letdown, but a little bit of a letdown because I'm still stoked that I got five new characters. Like in one box set, you can't reuse the same parts. Like you guys got to agree to, okay, use the jacket as many times as you want. I understand that and I'm cool with that. But don't use the same jacket twice in the same box set. Like that, that doesn't work. If you had guys had to sculpt like a new jacket or do something, um, I mean, I think that would have been better than to use the same exact jacket twice. Cause then when you put all these together, they're wearing the same thing. And um, it's like, maybe they should have called each other and said, hey, are you wearing that jacket? And they'd be like, yeah, I'm wearing that jacket. The other one would be like, okay, cool. I'm not gonna wear that jacket. Well, that obviously didn't happen here. And because of it, they ended up with the same jacket. Okay, here's this Sif, and I pulled out Angela for obvious reasons. Basically, they definitely have the same legs, same arms. Uh, the torso is a little different because this one has like a sculpted on bra. This one doesn't. So that's kind of made a pretty good comparison right there. And as far as this goes, she's, I mean, they killed it on this toy. Let's check her out. Once again, the head sculpt, Marvel Legends Perfection. Same lips, once again. Like, just, just something. A little different would have been nice the hair on it really good job on that and then I'm having the same problem with this figure as I was the last figure um, it's a box set can you guys not use the same part in the same box like because then I'm obviously going to display these two figures together they obviously didn't call each other and now they're stuck wearing the same cape. Yes, it is a different color, but I mean, I just, I don't know, the same box set, maybe I'm picking things apart here because they are both really good. It's just kind of weird when you look in the box and like they're wearing the same exact thing, but it's painted a different color. It's like they're not even trying to hide the fact that they're reusing parts. So the sword has this little sleeve down here, fits right in there. It'll fit in either hand really well which I actually like that, that she comes, she, she can go double fist and if she had two swords. So there you go. Looks really good in hand. I love the skirt. Um, did a great job on that. Boots are the same as Angela's. These shoulders are the same as other cape. So a lot of reused parts, but at least it comes with a brand new head. It's really accurate to what she looks like in the comic. So once again, I'm just happy to get a new character in my collection. Okay, for this singularity, I went ahead and pulled out Captain Marvel, the see-through version, where you could kind of see how they did the star effect back then compared to how they do it now. Like, if you look at this today's technology or them just using a better plastic, like, it is light years ahead of this other figure. Like, I actually thought that this is really cool. I actually still think that this figure stands up. But when you look at this, like, um, solar system effect on this toy compared to this toy, as you see, there's really no comparison. Let's check her out. Okay, once again, same boring face. Uh, facial expression would have been kind of nice, even though you couldn't really see it much. It would have been cool. The solar system, how they did it, like if you look at this, like there's kind of like a purple here and then a blue over here, and then that glitter is like sprinkled into the plastic. Like I don't think that that's painted on. Like I think that's actually in the mold, or at least it looks like it is in the mold. They did a really good job of this toy. Like, I, I am really impressed. And that's why she's my favorite figure in the set. Her hair on that, like, I mean, everything about this toy, I love it. Like, it just, granted, it's a figure that you already have, but who cares? If you're going to redo it like this, like, brand new character, killed it. The whole box set was amazing. Speaking of the box set, let's pull it out one last time and check them out. Okay, here they are kind of posed up like a team, and I was going to put together a little A-Force team for you, but after looking into it, man, it's pretty much every Marvel character you have, you could basically throw into the A-Force team. And I just didn't know where to start and stop. They have so many different lineups. It's basically pick a lineup, put the characters you want in it, and that's basically the A-Force. My gripes with this line... Um, are real small basically they all have the same exact facial expression if you look at them like everyone has the same face at least the lips are the same then these two have the same cape and then these two have the same coat other than that this is an amazing setup like you guys got to pick this up you got to support them on this one 
Because if this doesn't sell well, we'll probably never see something like this again. And so, like, with a box set of hot female superhero action figures, you can just imagine the endless possibilities of posing and picture taking. And for you guys keep asking me where I get my action figure stands from, they're called Kaiser Doll Stands, not action figure stands. I know it's hard to bite that bullet, but they're called Kaiser Doll Stands. They sell them all over the place. Shop around. They got different sizes, so kind of pick what size you, what size you need. Um, they're like $1.50 each. When I buy these things, I usually buy at least 300 at a time, and I get pretty much every size that they make. So there they are. There's the set. Thanks for watching.